Senhoras e senhores, estamos aqui na BGS, nós do Voxel, e hoje com uma entrevista muito especial. Eu estou aqui com ninguém mais, ninguém menos do que a mente por trás de Tetris, Alexei Pajanov. Alexei, how are you doing? It's a pleasure Hi. to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. So, uh, the first question that I want to ask you is, how is to be known as the creator of the most famous game ever? Because this is Tetris. Well, I'm very honored, especially here in Brazil. Uh -huh. You know, it's my first time, it's my first visit to Brazil. And uh, I got, uh, and uh, I'm very excited with this absolutely great, huge uh, Brazil uh, game show. Mm -hmm. we, we, we we lost it, we, we didn't have it anymore in United States, you know. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. now it's Summer Game Fest, e, but E3 e, is... E, E3 is gone, but, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's even more than E3 in my, in my vision. And the fact that I got the Life Achievement Award here tells me a lot that the gear, that Tetris is still loved here, and that's me, make me very proud. Yeah, and we have a lot of uh, people that play Tetris in Vox. So we have Luciana, that is one of the best players that I know. And I want to uh, start from the top because uh, Tetris was created during the Cold War era, and I want to know if. The, the context, the history context, did have any influence in the, the game creation or the game idea? Well, uh, I, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. So I feel that uh, Tetris has a very, a very important influential on, on game industry, of course, but on the whole computer industry as well. You probably don't remember that time, but but when first computer appears, people got to be scared of them. It's a kind of big cold machine with with all this complicated keyboard, mouse, too much. It was too much for people, and it it works uh, with the with the numbers mainly, and uh, you know. Uh, the software was really rough, lots of mistakes, so whatever you do, the user interface were awful that time, so whatever they do, you try to do, it's very easy to make mistakes, so people start hating it. And all of a sudden, on the screen, they see something very clear, very, very pleasant and very, very kind of uh, agreeable. So Tetris, uh, Tetris really helped a lot of people to destroy this barrier between them and computer. And I think this, the, this role of Tetris and first games will, will, be, will be still appreciated. Mm -hmm. And you developed the game inside uh, the Soviet uh, Computer Science Institute, right? Yeah, it was Computer Center for Academy of Science of USSR. And what was the reception of your peers when you first presented Tetris? <laughs> well, I, I never presented it oh, per oh se. God. I just made a version. My first version was done on the uh, kind of uh, uh, Russian clone of PDP-11 machine. It has, it, uh, it, it has so-called monitor, big television screen, which produced just a text, just the numbers, uh, letters and, and, and characters. It has no graphic at all. So my, my, my main challenge was to, to put the, the, those, those pieces on the screen and make them move, you know. So whenever it started working, everybody was curious and look at it and, and people kind of was intrigued and liked it very much. Uh, and recently we had the release of the Apple TV Plus movie Tetris and it's about your journey with, uh, sorry for this, uh, Hank Rogers to show the game to the world but I want to know what in the movie is reality and what did you think about the movie? Yeah. So, <laughs> first of all, it's not a movie about me, it's about Hank Rogers. Okay. So he is, a, Tetris. he is a main character, and another character in the movie is the game Tetris, that's for sure. 
uh, well, basically, we, we did uh, we, we did work a lot with the script writer, and we fight a lot for for this uh, story uh, would be truthful. And you know, we did a good job because everything were, uh, as for as far as business is concerned. All this deal, character, kind of fighting, intrigue, uh, platforms, and everything else was uh, is very accurate. It's what really happened in in the in the in the life. And of course, they put some kind of Hollywoodish stuff yeah, there. Of no, course, so, they so, will put it. Yeah, so they need a cherry on the <laughs> on the cream. But did yeah. you enjoy the movie? Yeah, I liked it. It's it's quite unusual for me because because they don't try to really oversimplify it. You know, it's really hard to put kind of five year event in an hour and a half time of the movie. But but they did a good job and uh, and you 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 feel the flavor flavor of the time of of Russia of that epoch and everything so uh, at the same time it was a serious movie about the, ga the game industry I think it's the first one with this uh, with this kind of documentary spirit about about our industry and and as a pioneer movie I I, I feel it's very good and do you think that this movie could introduce Tetris to a younger generation that never played the game? Uh, not so much for for the game itself. It, it appears several times there, but but it 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 was no emphasis of, of this type. But you know what what is very what is very curious about that it was a it was a premiere of the movie in, on the austin uh, movie festival and when we watch it in the hall i got that there is another very important character in the movie you never guess who is it I'm, I'm trying it's to a guess. game boy Oh, really? Game, because the Game Boy is the... Uh, Game like, Boy become a real hero. Yeah. Wherever Game Boy appears at the scene and whatever, the people upload. <laughs> because because they were so in love with this small toy which which they got, I don't know, 30 years ago. You yeah, know? and that was, was the biggest game in the launching of Game uh, of Exactly, Game Boy. yeah. Yeah, it was a big deal. So Tetris and Game Boy is a, a real character there. So so the movie could 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 introduce back Game Boy into the scene or 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 such a toys. That's for sure. No, that's absolutely incredible. I never played in a Game Boy, but I played the the new versions of the game. It's funny because you created a game in 1984, and 40 years after that, it's still one of the biggest games in the history of video games. Did you ever expect that? Did you ever envisioned that? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when the game, my when I caught the game and just it started breeding on the screen without any decoration, any score anything just moving the pieces on the screen i found myself second week just sit and playing it myself so, <laughs> so it become really addictive to me immediately uh -huh. so i realized that this is this is at least good game mm. <laughs> it's like it's yeah, it has but, the x factor but but i never expect that whatever happened was it <laughs> no way <laughs> and the new versions that i mentioned we have like tetris 99 we have my favorite one that is tetris effect i love to play it on vr uh did you play them what's your favorite and the biggest question which one did you would love to make it <laughs> well i i did play tetris effect and i appreciate the game very much I was in love with Tetris 99. It's a, it's a excellent version. That's that was. I was very skeptical skeptical about the the Tetris could could be done in multiplayer, but they proved me totally wrong. So I was I was I was very happy with this version. So probably Tetris 99 is my favorite. Me personally, to play, I still in computer somehow 
buttons is my favorite user interface. <laughs> so. I, I, I don't know why, but I expected that, you know? <laughs> oh. And I want you to know from a person who is so important for the, the industry, so important for the puzzle game industry, what do you see in the future of this genre, of the video games in general? Uh, well, basically, basically we are very good with the with the puzzle area. There are lots of them. They are still very simple, but they are getting there. The only obstacle on the way is that uh, the, the the way of monetization. It is really annoying with all this extra feature to. To, to, to be uh, to when you could buy some kind of privileges in the game. So I really hope that in future, in near future, they come back to, to, to the old, uh, old good uh, subscription or just purchasing the game. Would be, would be very fair and very simple and straightforward, and that will improve the, 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 the ca casual casual market of the, of the game. As far as uh, hardcore gaming is concerned, I didn't see any breakthrough lately. So the industry kind of growing muscles with the, with the, with the imaging, with the, with the better graphic, with the, with the heavier conte, co, co, content content part but there is no breakthrough and I expecting some kind of really blown up items uh, appearing uh, in in near future I am pretty sure that AI will be introduced and somehow get get something incredibly innovative and good in the in the in the industry uh, my second uh, uh, expectation is that somebody will uh, will invent something better than old mm. joystick i think that some hardware invention should come up and make a, another break through that's my kind of vision now oh it's great and to finish this interview with the greatest and most i i think the the voxel the, the voxel public uh would love to know what is your favorite tetris <laughs> and what is lying? No, just kidding. <laughs> my favorite is lying. Yeah, yeah. My, my favorite piece, uh, could you uh, believe it or not, is J. J. J, yes, okay. this one. Somehow I'm left handed, so I. I, I I like to fill up the the, the gap on my on my right, so Ooh. so J piece is is, uh, is very important mm -hmm. for me. Everybody like I piece, and I piece is a kind of common place. Yeah, yeah but, exactly. But, but it resolves in, everything. In, for in me. Or, yeah, in order to, to 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 gain the strategy, you need some other piece, either mm -hmm. L, either J. So J is mine. Okay, <laughs> Alex, it was a pleasure to talk to you. A really legend for our industry, and it's a it's a really important moment yeah. for my life, for my career to talk to you. <laughs> Thank and you I need very you much. To be sincere with you. Thank you much for having me. No, uh, <laughs> I lost my words. É, galera, essa foi a entrevista com o Alex Pajanov, o criador do Tetris. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Se gostaram, não se esqueça de deixar o like, se inscrever no canal e falar qual é a sua peça favorita do Tetris. Será que é o L? Será que é o I? Comente aí embaixo. Tamo junto. Valeu.